see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying God and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, the birth of Christ is will bring so many things in our life. So Christmas, when you think about the Christmas, there were so many things. And expertly, everyone remembers gifts, isn't it? So gifts. All the children will be waiting. Once when the mass is over, they go and wait for the lunch. After the lunch, take each one and open, and there will be a surprise. Wow. Okay? So I have received few gifts. I would like to show you, not sharing, okay? <laughs> so, the gifts are something like very good, okay? Few gifts are very unique. And I received another gift for this year, very unique way. The birth of Christ is put inside faith, belief. There is a Savior's born. You can carry the wonderful messages. And there are another few more gifts, like a greeting card, okay? So it is something like a picture of the family togetherness and smiling face, okay? And they have added a few more cards, everything. It's a good card. Very easy, you know, uh, revealing you know, what they are. Another kind of I received a gift, okay? It's uh, very tiny and makes a good noise. I like the bells. And, uh, another gift like the gift card, okay? It's from Amazon. So I cannot go beyond Amazon. It is already the fixed. So I need to use it. This one. Then another one, some more cookies. Okay, gingerbread. Okay, gingerbread man. And there was one game, choose joy. Okay? Everyone is on the face, choose joy. They are carved on the stone, and uh, you know, good. It's also very unique. And there is one particular gift I really wanted. Have you seen something like tricky? Tricky, little funny, and unique gift. So the person one who gave me put hundred dollars inside this bottle. <laughs> okay? And then uh, he, she told me, you need to remove the pot and take the hundred dollars that is for you. And she said, once again you put it back and put everything together and before three kings. Okay? Not this coming Sunday. And I did it within one day. <laughs> Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Christmas gifts and Jesus is a wonderful gift. He is a gift, some, something like this, very challenging person. The gift given to us by God the Father and He challenges and He makes us to really work with this kind of gift. So being with the remembering about the gift of the Father, as we know, every child when he, they come into this world, they come with a beautiful message. The great poet of India, Rabindranath Tagore, once said, Every time a child is born, 
It is a sign that God is not at the courage of mankind. When Jesus was born in mankind, God showed his love and planned to each one of us. The uniqueness of this gift is saving us from our sins and that should help you, be you to share with others. So that's why in every Christmas celebration we bring gifts and we start sharing. It's a beautiful thing that we all do in Christmas. The first unique, the quality of the message of this gift, little form, Jesus in a manger, to save us from sin. In Matthew Gospel, chapter 1, verse 21, we read, She shall bring forth a son, and you call his name Jesus, for it is he who saves his people from their sins. And further, it was acknowledged once again in the many places. John, in his Gospel, he says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that all those who believe will have life. So, it is not just ordinary life that we enjoy, eternal life. So, dear brothers and sisters of Christ Jesus, to save God, us, from the sin, just like Mary and Joseph, we need to give a little space. We need to say yes and allow God to enter in us. But it is something like the challenging gift I showed you. It's not so easy. There will be a lot of disturbance, distraction, temptation. But yet, once you allow Jesus to be part of your life, slowly and gently work with Him, with His teaching everything, and you will see marvelous change. Marvelous and tremendous thing. So there are a lot of people, along with Mary and Joseph, apostles, saints, and you, if why, you will include you and me. They are working with Jesus. That's why we are able to see. I'm not able to uh, just go on with my sin. I can go and confess, and I can free from myself from the sin, the guilty consciousness. Because he says, I am forgiving you. I have died for you on the cross. So let us work with Jesus' this gift to remove our sins, to free from the sin, and find Jesus always in our life. The second thing, it is also demanding, the God the Father is demanding, share with others in many different ways. Recently, the CNN network like every year they used to uh, find out the best teacher in the globe, the entire world, and they gave the Global Teacher Award. And this year they elected, selected 10 members throughout the world, and the first prize was given to one of the Indians called Ranjit Desel. So this person was very unique. And when the award was announced, hey Ranjit, you are the one. Immediately there was a joy. He was just sitting in front of the camera, his father and mother on the both side, and there is a rejoicing. The person asked him, what so the award money is one billion, sorry, one million uh, US dollars, big money. So after announcing this, they asked the first question, what are you going to do with this one billion dollars? The first answer, what he gave, I am going to give off of this prize money with the other nine finalists because I am one among the equal. I am also equal to them. Maybe you are picked up. So I am going to give off of my money. And further he said, his students are all, usually they used to uh, tell him, my students told sharing in is growing. God gives to us and we have to share. By sharing with other nine finalists, they can continue their good works and reach out many more poor children in their own countries. So my brothers and sisters, the aspect of sharing here very unique. We have received an idea from the students, 
already is sharing his all the talents and uh, this person was selected because the place where he was working when he went to the public school, government school, there is no one in the school. And that particular area is known for child marriage. All the girls will get married at the age of 12 and 13. And the parents, their first priority is not education. They will take their children and they will make them work in their own form or field. So it is a part of uh, income generation. But after this man went and he found there is certain kind of block. A huge wall was built between the school and the children. And he went on talking to them and conveying them and reaching out just like their own children. Today, all the children are in the school. And he was able to stop the child marriage. So, sharing is creating a different world. It's creating enlightenment in so many other innocent people. So the one person who is able to who is willing to share with the nine finalists. The nine are going to work with the millions of lives of students. The millions of students are coming from millions of families. So it is like sharing is something that is given to all. That is what Jesus also. He is not only given to you alone, he is given to us. So dear brothers and sisters, today when the shepherds heard the news, the went and told Mary, this is what the message we heard and we have come to share the message with you. So when they were sharing, the shepherds were sharing with Mary and Joseph about the newborn child. Their joy is multiplied. And Mary and Joseph, they have reconfirmed, yes, God is working with us. So let us make a, a proper journey without any doubt, without any difficulty. So dear brothers and sisters, yes, when you choose God, when you choose Jesus, He removes your sins and He is demanding, asking you to go and share. In the nature of you to observe one unique quality, that is, nothing in nature lives for itself. Pope Francis said, River do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruit. The sun does not shine on itself. The flowers do not spread their fragrance for themselves, leaving for others the rule of nature. We are all born to help each other, no matter how difficult it is. Life is good when you are happy, but much better when others are happy by your sharing. Others are happy because of your sharing. So even God is existing not for himself. He is existing for us. He has created and he found there is something went wrong. So he is coming and to go and be with us to save us. So my brothers and sisters, yes. How do we can share our lives with God and humanity? Loving God, loving neighbor. But it, it has got different way. Loving God, giving your time, some little time to read the word of God, express your love, prayer, thanking the Lord, and observe whatever He is asking you to do. Loving neighbor is also, is very much a part of our life. So there is one couple I know from India, Lobo and Hilda Prabhu. So Lobo, when he, he, he got retired from the work, but still his wife was working. And almost seven more years she has to work. And uh, it's a good job, she used to get good money. And they used to do a lot of social work when I was the priest in India. So when she heard about Lobo's retirement, now she said, I'm also going to take the voluntary time. I asked, why seven years of work, you can have so much of money, and still you can enjoy your work, you are not discouraged. But she said, I have come to be with him, 
that I have come to share my life with him in all the situation. Now, leaving him all alone at home, he'll be lonely. So now, retiring, giving a wallet to retirement, I can give my time and we can plan something being at home and we, we can reach out many more for people. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, all these good qualities, whatever it may be, it comes from the Lord because we are sharing, we are enjoying the gift of the Father in the person of Jesus Christ. So do not make your relationship more artificial, but make it true and real. That will be an inseparable event by death and long last street. So dear brothers and sisters, God gave his only son so that we might have life free from sin and give to others. Let's learn from Joseph, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, how to share our lives and give life to others, promote joy and happiness with one another. Finally, this year from December 8th to next year, 7th of December, is dedicated to St. Joseph. Very often, Joseph is a forgotten soul. He is like silently working for the family of Nazareth. But if you start meditating, contemplating, looking at the person's silent words, he is silent, but his acts speak so many things. One of the aspects I recently read says, the Father, the Holy Ghost, and the, uh, Jesus Christ, they are together. They are very close to the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Holy Ghost. When they send the Jesus, the Word, to this world, and they believed and trusted the caretaker, Joseph's. So here, they are so close to the Father and the Holy Ghost, now, he's entrusted as a tiny baby in the hands of St. Joseph. And that is a marvelous thing. How can a father and the Holy Ghost, the Creator, can be able to trust a simple man? Is it something like blind decision? No. By knowing who he is, for what purpose his Creator, his own virtues, God the Father entrusted the little newborn baby under his care. Such a powerful person, St. Joseph. So dear brothers and sisters, all the men married and unmarried have a special devotion to St. Joseph. By any book that is really gives good knowledge of St. Joseph. He is a patron saint of the universal church after 150 years. And all the men, women and children you trying to learn about St. Joseph, talk to your parents, especially talk to your father, and so that they can be able to listen from you and they can become a wonderful caretaker, protector of your own families. So once again, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. God bless you and bless everyone. And today, as we remember the saving act of God and the sharing act of our own self is demanded, just trying to reach out someone who is lonely, who is not able to celebrate. Let's go and say hello or call over the phone and trying to wish them Merry Christmas and tell them, I am ready to share my joy with you. May God bless you all. Please rise. Let us profess our faith. I believe.